Okay, so I wasn't entirely happy with the last video. I kind of felt like, um, I let the side down a little bit. So, we're going to do something fun and something different. We have red, purple, blue and silver. And we have a black base coat down. I'm just going to pop you into position that's great right this is i'm gonna do something quite simple um i'm just gonna put some dots of color on to our canvas and i'm gonna roll a marble around in them and we're gonna have some fun and we're gonna chill out and we're not gonna stress about anything Okay, so with this, we're not worrying about where it goes, we're not worrying about if there's blobs, we're literally just throwing some paint onto the canvas and then we're going to roll the ball around and see what happens. Okie dokie, but gorgeous, this blue is beautiful, beautiful metallic blue. I did combine a little bit of the green in the previous video into this blue just because I felt like it could do with a bit more vibrancy to it um, and I have my entirely homemade super iridescent purple I happen to be a huge fan of purple uh, so you will notice it, it, Please do go and check out my Instagram and my Facebook as my art is available for sale. Starting at extremely low prices, um, mostly because I'm still quite new on this journey and obviously a lot of it is my early stuff and as I'm working predominantly out of my kitchen, uh, my hob is actually underneath my painting mat currently. Um, every little bit helps. There is also a donation thing on my page, should you feel so inclined. Right, what the hell? Just drop it in the middle and we'll see what happens. I haven't done this before, so if I'm utterly crap, I apologise in advance. Uh, yeah, I think this marble's too heavy because it's just making dents in through the paint. Okay, so we're not going to marble it. Okay, that's not too much of a problem. Always remember, no mistakes, only happy accidents. So I'm just going to fill that back in. So we can't do it that way, that's absolutely fine. We can do it another way. I'll wait until I get some small marbles because this one is a little bit big for the job. Okie dokie. Yes, I have painting clothes because I'm almost always covered in paint these days. I seem to be happy, happiest whilst covered in paint. And uh, Mina Vegas also has a very similar philosophy. You know what? Let's do random Dutch ball. Why not?
go up. Let's put that down and grab the big boy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow it out and I'm going to put some more colour on. Original. I'm gonna just scrape that off and I'm gonna do a ring pull. And this is the joy of learning. I'm using canvas boards, so I'm not spending a stupid amount of money on canvases. Um, you can get a pack of canvas boards quite reasonably on Amazon. Um, obviously, the paint is more. But um, because I was doing some tests today, I didn't mix up exactly my best paint. So some of this is my less good paint. But I'm very confident with my ring paws. I'm so confident that I'm going to put a lovely puddle of this in the middle to pour into. Right. I'm going to clean cup. And we're going to go... For layering. Right, what do I want in the middle? I want purple and silver in the middle. So what I'm going to do is put a nice dollop of purple there and we're going to pour a dollop of silver into it. Yep, that'll do nicely. And then I'm going to go from there to my blue. And from my blue, I'm going to go back to the purple. And then I'm going to do a layer of red. And then I'm actually going to put, that's only a little layer of red, I'm going to put a dollop of already pre-mixed. So that's not obviously just paint, that, that is mixed with pouring medium. It might be a little bit thicker, thicker than the others, but I'm not going to worry too much because I want the gold to stand out if I put gold in. Right. I'm going to do another layer of the red next to the gold so it's sandwiched. There we go. Okay. And then I'm getting back to the purple, then the blue, then the silver. Okay. Gold into the purple into a beautiful blue. It's gorgeous. I love blue. I love this blue. I like metallic colours generally, but I do like this blue. Into the blue and then into the silver. And 
and then I am going to put a dollop of the 24 karat in the middle to pour into. I've got plenty of colour I can use, a slow extender, and I will show you exactly what flow extender is and how you do that. Right, I'm just going to pour this, I'm going to straight pour it. I go from all the way up top. I'm going to take it nice and slow. Ooh. Just going to turn up a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to try and catch the tail so it doesn't drip back onto my canvas. Okay, so now I have my ring pour, which is looking lots better than everything else I've done so far. Yippee! Yeah, I'm, I'm good with, um, sorry, straight pour. I'm good with straight pours, and I'm normally good with Dutch pours, but that one just, just, What's not behaving? Okay, so what we're going to do is, there's only a little bit of silver left, so what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of pouring med extra pouring medium in there. You can use water and just water it down if you want to, but I find the extra pouring medium actually helps the paint flow more than just water. I don't know... I mean, it is probably a more expensive way to do it. I really need to start using water. In fact, I'm going to put a splash of extra water in there. Just because I want it extra thin. There we go. So this is exactly the same silver I used in the pour. All I've done is thin it down. And it's just to give it a little bit of something extra to run around on. Because, obviously, we've got a pretty pattern in the middle and we don't want it to disappear. Right. So, yeah, we're just going to quickly taz this around the edges. Just to encourage the paint to flow to them. Because obviously I've used this canvas a couple of times. It's got a bit of a bend in it because I've scraped it. Because I wanted to get something I could be proud of. And I'm really liking the look of that ring. It looks really pretty. And it looks like we're going to have some really nice cells in it as well. Right. Like I said, I'm just dolloping the silver round just to help the paint in the centre slide. It is purely to help me tilt. Right, I'm just going to pop those back there and I will sort them out in a jiff. Just pop those in the sink. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a quick torch. And then we'll get to tilting. Torching helps get rid of any air bubbles that are in the paint. Because obviously I don't want that to come through and ruin the composition. And also if there are any cells in there, it will get them moving. And we are hoping there might be some underneath. So I think I'm going to go this way first. As you can see, the runny paint goes off pretty much straight away, which makes the pouring, uh, makes the uh, tilting so much easier.
Và go and then I'm gonna stretch that down that side and then we're gonna have a look see what we like see what we don't and we can make some of what we don't disappear right so that's that's me covered now this side I think is a little bit too dark so what I'm gonna do is just tilt it And I'm going to let the excess paint just fall away. Because we don't need all of that dark purple. It's nice, but I think what we've got going on in the rest of it is prettier. So we are going to lose some of the paint from the middle. But it's only a small amount. It's not the bulk of the paint. But you see, we've got some gorgeous cell action happening up at the top. I'm just going to move this back this way a little bit. Because I've got some beautiful colours and a beautiful picture. There you go, now I'm happy. Yay! Okay. So, if I bring you in for a close-up, you can now see we've got some super amazing metallics and cells. And that's a much, much prettier picture, whether you prefer it as a cave or from the sides. Everybody sees things differently, and I actually really love that about art. Okay, so that's me happy. I've now got a picture I feel like I can be proud of, and I feel like we've got a much better example of what fluid art is all about. So thank you very much, YouTube, and I shall see you soon.